guys. Without further ado, then let's invite Mr. Kim from uh, Energy Web. He is the main or the principal solution architect at Energy Web. Kim, please come in and take it away. Good luck, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hello, everyone. I am Kim Anorides, and a, I am a principal solutions architect at Energy Web. So for today, I will be talking about uh, enterprise Web3 adoption um, using Substrate. Yeah? So let me begin by um, introducing our organization. So, so we are based in um, Zug, Switzerland, and we have hubs in uh, the US, Western Europe, and in Australia. And we are a tech company building open source digital technologies um, in our mission to accelerate decarbonization. And I believe that the greatest strength of Energy Web lies in its solid partnerships, not just with the enterprises and government agencies um, in the energy sector, but also in the Web3 space, among others. And having engaged with these enterprises, which are very familiar and more comfortable with legacy and um, well-established uh, software solutions, we have identified the challenges um, for enterprise Web3 solutions adoption along with a real uh, community contribution. And these challenges include, for example, the need for easy onboarding and versatile integration abilities. Um, decentralized um, off-chain computing abilities. We have fully automated and real-time deployment of these enterprise solutions to thousands of operators and allow the community to be involved in these solutions, not just the tech experts, fiat payments, uh, standard SLAs, and many more. And uh, we also encountered various uh, governance requirements from these enterprises, such as private, regional, custom KYC, and even public governance requirements. And so we need a zero trust testing and rollout across fully custom uh, computing networks. And having these challenges as our motivation, in, um, as our requirements, we needed a technology uh, that can serve as a foundation that can help us solve these challenges. And with the versatility and robustness that Substrate offers, we decided to um, leverage on its key advantages in building our EWX ecosystem, wherein uh, EWX uh, can provide an environment for these enterprise solutions um, along with their varying uh, computing and governance requirements uh, as well as community contribution to Thrive. Um, EWF or Energy Web has an existing EVM based chain called EWC and it is mainly used for tokenization. However, what truly brings value to us is the creation of EWX because it provides real-world tangible utility of our tokens. And on EWX, we developed the worker node palettes and we developed it in the perspective of two, domain, two domains. So one is at the community token holders perspective which we also call as the worker node operators. And on the other side, we have uh, the perspective of the enterprises. And for enterprises, Energy Web provides a no-code tool uh, because some of these enterprises don't have the technical capabilities to do so. So we provide a no-code tool for business analysts to create their business cases and then configure them uh, and provide funds for rewards, and then publish them to um, EWX, which is our substrate-based chain. And by doing so, um, 
the operators would be able to download them and then install them in their worker nodes and have their worker nodes execute the business logic and then submit those results um, on-chain. And by doing so, we have um, the enterprises be able to enjoy the decentralized solution that they built uh, by themselves. And this no-code tool, uh, which we call a smart flow, is available on Launchpad. This is a platform in uh, Energy Web wherein it provides various um, ecosystem products for, full, for fully enterprise-grade software as a service manner. And on Launchpad, so this is how a smart flow would look like. So from enterprise, enterprise perspective, they will build their business cases into smart flows that becomes their solutions. Then it becomes deployed on EWX, activate it, and then group them together into business units. So, uh, for example, the enterprises have um, multiple business units in them, so they can group them together. And then, at the same time, those uh, smart flows are actually built using Node-RED. Maybe some of you are uh, familiar with it, but for those who don't, this is an open source um, flow editor. So you can just have a drag and drop and wire your um, flows together to form the, uh, business, uh, the business flow. And then the worker, uh, the, the smart flows are then exported into flow files. And those flow files, we upload them in our uh, semi-public IPFS. And then that gets downloaded by the worker, node, uh, worker nodes. This is how Launchpad looks like. And this is how a typical worker node uh, smart flow configuration. So you can see there, um, these are configuration nodes that are wired together to form a cohesive solution. And on the uh, other side, we have here the custom smart flows that, uh, or the custom smart flow nodes that EWF has developed. And it includes some uh, custom nodes that integrate with our substrate-based uh, chain to our palette. So first is the, for example, sending the solution results on chain, um, querying uh, chain, state, uh, chain state, and then, for example, a verification of the consensus, uh, among others. And in order for these smart flows uh, to be secured, so we can ensure the security of the smart flows, and also uh, to make sure that they are compliant with the requirements of the enterprises. Um, it has to go through an uh, intensive audit, uh, both at Energy Web at all, and also with the enterprise themselves. And this is all at the enterprise perspective. And at this point, I will talk about at the perspective of the operators or worker node operators. So what is a worker node? A worker node is a single processing unit in a network of nodes uh, that has the ability to execute enterprise computations and submit votes to derive consensus-based transparent results. And this is very important uh, for some of the enterprises or even more of the enterprises. And Energy Web has developed two types uh, so far. One is a uh, desktop application called Marketplace App. And it is available on Mac OS, Windows, and Ubuntu. And on, we also have the server-based worker nodes, which are available for deployment um, in your mini PCs or uh, on your servers, both on cloud and on-premise. So for worker node operators, uh, we, uh, they can connect with their accounts using uh, Wallet Connect or with their um, external hardware wallets, lift their tokens, set up their worker node accounts, browse those enterprise solutions, and if they like one and they want to participate in one, they subscribe to that solution group, and then they stake to it to gain base rewards. And for uh, the operators to actively gain rewards over time, they run these flows and make sure that these uh, worker nodes submit the results um, in a timely manner 
and also without failure. So they can monitor the solution, uh, the, their worker nodes, and then ultimately they can gain and claim their rewards. And this is how the marketplace app look like. And these are some of the um, enterprise Web3 solutions that are already available um, in production. And so I will be sharing about a little bit of the high-level design of the Marketplace app. So uh, it is an Electron packaged uh, app. And on front end, we use React. And on the back, back end, we use Node.js. But the most important components of the Marketplace app is in the EWX um, scheduler and data synchronizer, as well as the Node-RED server, which is integrated into the app. Because these two ensures that um, data of the operator on-chain are synced into the Marketplace app, and that the solutions, those smart flows that the enterprises ha have created and deployed in our substrate-based chain gets downloaded uh, into the Marketplace app, and then uh, make sure that they are installed and are properly running in the Node-RED server. And these are the um, modules of the mar Marketplace app, which I will not go through in detail today. But I am very, very excited to share with you the enterprise solutions that we have built in our EWX ecosystem. And let me begin with um, the green proofs. So we have uh, Green Proofs project, uh, which is in collaboration with um, PayPal. So in this uh, project, um, it is meant to um, provide a scalable platform for certified um, miners uh, to participate in a new green mining initiative that incentivizes um, climate-aligned Bitcoin miners. And inside in this um, smart flow, in this enterprise solution, um, we need to identify the miners using low emissions energy sources, and then uh, preferentially route on-chain transactions um, to these miners, and then reward the miners for processing the transactions. We also have uh, green proofs for the aviation industry. So we call it Sustainable Aviation Fuel Certificates Registry, which is a project that we've collaborated with RMI Environmental uh, Defense Fund and also the Sustainable Aviation um, uh, Buyers Alliance. And for this, this provides a platform for um, easy uh, issuances, transfers, modifications, and retirements of certificates related to sustainable aviation fuel. We also have green proofs for electric vehicles. So we have an application called Auto Green Charge. And this provides seamless integration with your uh, car OEMs data uh, in order to match uh, charging sessions with your electric vehicles. Um, uh, what do you call this? The energy attribute certificates that is provided in, in, in your um, region. And one of the things that we are uh, working with right now and in collaboration with the Institute of European Energy and Climate Policy um, is the Enex project, which, which aims to provide innovative energy efficiency service um, models for sector integration using blockchain. So this is very, very, it's quite a big project. It is composed of five business cases which, are, uh, which will be deployed in uh, different regions in Europe uh, and some countries, for example, in Spain, in Germany, in uh, Greece. And each of these uh, business cases are handled by different enterprises. And these enterprises will help us build the smart flows and be deployed in the EWX ecosystem. And Last but not the least, one of the things that I am very, very excited about, um, this is a project that we are currently working on, and it is called Proof of Green Work. And we will be using um, carbon-aware technologies. So 
Uh, I am sure some of you have already experienced carbon-aware technologies in your daily lives, especially those who are having um, smartphones. So, for example, in, your, in iOS 16.1, your iPhone can actually help you reduce your carbon footprint by selectively charging when um, low carbon emissions electricity is available. Yeah? So, it's quite cool. And by having this, um, we can actually contribute in creating green software. So what is a green software? So green software is both carbon efficient and carbon aware, or either. Yeah? So carbon efficient is that your, in your application, you change how your software and how your architecture would be in order for it to be responsible in emitting less carbon. But for carbon aware, your application changes its behavior so that it emits less carbon. Yeah. And by having this, we are actually seeing a better, brighter, and greener future of the Web3 space. And before I end my talk, I would like to call the community uh, for all of us to be involved in these uh, green use cases and be rewarded in your actual contributions uh, for doing so. And also, I would like to take this opportunity to call the um, enterprises to have EWX ecosystem as your platform of choice for your Web3 solutions. Thank you very much and have a great day. All right. Any questions from the audience? No? No questions? All right. Small announcement. Thank you so much, King. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, lunch break will be at 1, but it will actually be served at 1.30. So don't go all rushing at once at 1. Just take your time. 1.30 is the time. Uh, up next, we will have a disruptor, someone who wants to disrupt the gaming industry using XCM and also how to integrate EVM into the broader Polkadot ecosystem. So stay tuned. <laughs>